Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud9 here. Welcome to another inbox review. Today is something really cool. Uh, I was really excited. I found this from my dad. Um, this is an Aurora kit, quite vintage. Um, I don't remember if this is the first or second edition. Um, this is the schooner, the Blue Nose. And yeah, it's a very, very old vintage Aurora kit. Um, I got this from my dad. He talked about a long time building this years and years ago. And he always, he lost it. He doesn't know what happened to it. He was always upset about it. I found him one on eBay and I got it for him basically as his birthday gift this year. And he's super happy and uh, he's letting me do an inbox review of it here. So the Blue Nose is a very famous Canadian schooner um, because it won a lot of uh, races and such. And as a matter of fact, it's so famous we put it on our 10 cent coin. So I'm going to try and get this to focus. There we are. So yeah, there she is. Unfortunately, the original Blue Nose has been destroyed. It was um, not quite kept up and uh, got eaten away. Um, but they made an exact replica and I believe they used a lot of the original uh, metal fittings on it. And so we have technically the Blue Nose too, but it's an exact replica of the original, which again, unfortunately, was destroyed. So I'm going to take a look at this kit here with you guys. This is an incredible model. Um, it's really sad that no one has ever re-released this one. Um, Hobbycraft Canada did make one themselves, um, but I believe it's smaller. I know my brother has it, and that one you can't find out, also it's kind of hard. Look at this. $2.49. That's old. That is old. <laughs> oh man, that'd be great, eh? So... First thing here we've got are the Vacuform sails. These are some of the nicest sails I've ever seen. Um, look at this just beautiful detail. Uh, what's quite incredible is despite their age, they're still in terrific shape. The the quality they haven't they haven't gone brittle or anything. So these are still going to be usable, um, and they're just very very nice. Oh, you can see all the definition is very nice and pronounced on there. Um, and again, it's just if it's a very nice plastic. It's not a very brittle vacuum form stuff that you get sometimes. And somehow over all these years, it's still in in good shape. So um, here's the hull section <laughs> molded in in green. There, it's a pretty big ship. Um, there's no scale on it, but I'd be, I'd, I'd guess it's somewhere close to 70 second scale, um, kind of based on the other parts. So, you yeah, know, she's got a good shape to her. It's a pretty, pretty nice ship. Um, oh, plastic is really thick. Really, really nice. And, uh, you can see the, the water line there is, is raised. Um, and then we have some very nice... You know, details in there um, and on the inside as well and uh, it's it's hiding uh, beneath all the ejector pins there um, like there's one right there so th those are all hidden you know sometimes you get them hiding uh, you know up along here not this time it's very nicely very very nicely molded in there I'll put those aside for now um, here we have like the anchor couple of the other little pieces and some of the masts. Uh, I believe this is the I forgot what it's called on um, the bow on the front there. So uh, again it's really really nice plastic. Um, like these all these I forgot what they're called. But they're they're fantastic and a lot of times I know ship modelers will replace these with um, really nice cast metal ones and they're very expensive. But uh, if you were to use these, I, I would say go ahead because they're they're very very um, very very big and tough and again very cleanly molded. They're just beautiful. Like they're not quite accurate. They're kind of a little bit of a funny shape to them. But quite frankly, I wouldn't care. I think I think it's just really nice, really nicely done. Um, here we have another one. With the rudder on there. Um, this bag is unopened, so I'm going to leave it that way. 
<clears throat> the deck looks pretty darn good. It's got a lot of really nice detail in it. It's got recessed panel lining, so that'll be nice to wash out all those all, all the line lines lines there. Um, the only thing I don't like is that this anchor is is molded on there. That's not nice. Um, we get these cool looking dolphins. And they hold up the ship. I'll show that in a moment. Here we have some lifeboats in the back there. And a bunch of other little pieces and such. So it's pretty darn cool, all the stuff that you, you do get in this kit. There's not a lot to the ship. It, and, you know, it was a pretty, pretty bare-bones ship on its own. But for what they did, I think they, I think they got most of the detail in there that you want. Um, here we have the couple uh, metal chains for the anchors. Uh, this is the kind of cool part too, this is the Blue Nose display stand. <coughs> and the only thing that's going to be different about this is this is not going to be used. Years ago, uh, my dad was in a thrift store and he found a, a base and it says Blue Nose on it, it's carved out of wood. And it was for a, one of those like crystal blocks where they have like the etching on the inside. But that block wasn't there, but he bought it because it said Blue Nose, and he always intended to put a ship on it, this one in particular. And uh, what was really kind of cool is it has a um, thermometer, a clock, and I think a barometer on it. So it's, it's pretty cool, and it looked really great with these. So he's going to put those dolphins on either side of that wooden block. I didn't take that with me when I borrowed this. Um, here's the steering wheel, as you guys can obviously see. Now, kind of interesting thing about the the steering wheel on the Blue Nose is most ships sitting upright like this but on the Blue Nose it actually went like this um, they couldn't put anything in for mechanisms to um, you know like a pulley mechanism so they actually had to have it sitting on the ship like this so it directly would directly turn and um, this is this is kinda cool but it's definitely going to be redone the uh, Canadian Red Ensign flag from way back in the day, it does not have any any correct really detail on it. It's missing quite a bit of stuff on there. Um, but it's quite nice uh, nonetheless in some respects. It's very thick and glossy and yeah, it doesn't quite do it justice. So I'm going to have to find a replacement for that. Uh, I'm taking a look at the instructions here now. I really like these instructions, these are absolutely fantastic. So, here we have the basic assembly instructions, and what I love is it tells you what everything is. I absolutely love this. Um, oh, those are called dead eyes. Those little things that I had here. Here. Yeah, there you are. These things are dead eyes. Um, Main sail boom, main sail gaff, main top mast, um, pulley block. I love it when instructions are so informative and it's something that not a lot of them do nowadays. I wish more would, um, but it's, it's beautiful to see that on here. You can see how beautiful these are laid out. It's a nice descriptive picture. Um, there you can see the dolphins or porpoise halves that will hold the ship together eventually. Um, and then they even give you some good, they look very, very nice as far as the uh, rigging instructions go on there. So it's just, it's quite fantastic, I have to say, for this old Aurora kit. And I'd love to know who owns the molds to it now, because I'd love to yell at them and ask them to make it again. Uh, so here's a bunch of old Aurora kits. My dad has that one I still. Um, and this one actually. This one is done by Atlantis Models. Uh, I think you can still get it. You gotta look around for it. Atlantis Models definitely has it. Um, but like these knights, I know that Revel has a couple of those knights. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be really fun to see who has this ship because I would, I'd love to see this Blue Nose brought back. To uh, to the market, it, it's it's a simply it's simply just a beautiful kit. Like it's very very basic again, but um, 
All the parts are nice. They're thick. Uh, they, they do feel to scale still. Um, but I just I can't quite get over this. How nice this is. I'm very, uh, at this point, very upset that I showed it to my dad and, and got it for him because it looks like such a fun model. <laughs> I'd love to do one myself, but I'm glad I got it for him. So he's going to go ahead, he's going to build that. Um, probably this winter, actually. But, um, put that there. And this goes gently on top there. And there we are. The Aurora Famous Ships Blue Nose. There you are. Nice Canadian icon. Beautiful ship. Yeah, can't quite get over that. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Robes of Cloud 9. I'll be back with more videos. I'll see you guys later. Signing out.